morning students myself professor uday patel today's the topic or new chapter is dc to dc converter switching voltage regulator we already uh, cover the whole uh, main topics regarding switching devices like bjt mosfet igbt in, in first chapter after then in chapter 2 we study about dc to dc converter switching voltage regulator in that first of all we study about B, uh, normal linear voltage regulator and after then switching voltage regulators okay uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, switching voltage regulator after then buck converter boost converter and buck boost converter uh, in that <coughs> we can say that these three are the basic converters after then they are very highly complex as well as the beneficial converters are there flyback converter sap converter cuck converter there are different types of converters present in dc to dc converter and uh, dc to dc converters means what ki in that input voltage and output voltage both are dc voltage first of all we study about linear voltage regulator as its name suggest a linear regulator is one where linear component is used to regulate the voltage now what is linear uh, component linear component means resistive load okay resistive load why we called resistive load or resistor as a linear regulator because in that uh, we have ohms law that uh, v is equal to ir okay if we prove the graph between voltage and current for resistive load then the graph is linear that's why we called as linear regulator okay after then the switching regulator regulator the definition of switching regulator is that a switching voltage regulator or switching regulator is a voltage regulator that uses a switching element to transform the incoming power supply into pulse voltage which is then smooth using capacitor inductor or other elements we know that <clears throat> switching means what we providing some uh switching devices okay in our converter okay in our regulator like bjt mosfet igbt uh gtu different types of uh, we have different types of switching devices okay by using that switching devices we actually transfer the power from one circuit to another circuit but we have we got the waveform in that particular switching regulator uh, circuit in pulse form okay not pure dc form but in the form of pulses so that's why it is called as switching voltage regulator okay and we know that that uh, the load require the smooth dc voltage okay so we again use the some capacitor inductor and other element for smoothing that particular pulses okay uh, we can see that there is a figure of a linear regulator and switching regulator okay we will see difference between circuit uh the difference between linear voltage regulator and switching voltage regulator by using this two circuit we already covered the definition but we see in the main figure in that this is a dc voltage as well as the load is dc in that switching voltage regulator input is also dc and output is also dc okay this is variable resistor okay we know about we all know about the variable resistor okay the range of variable resistor might be 1 kilo ohm to 10 kilo ohm okay we can vary the value of uh, resistors in that okay uh, after then this is a control circuit okay 
from that we can vary the resistance value okay so in that only resistive element is present so we can control the current value okay from this we can control the current value okay but output will be same okay if input voltage is 10 voltage okay so in that condition okay output voltage might be seen because this is a parallel circuit okay but in that what happened <clears throat> this is a switching element okay we all uh, discuss we all deeply discuss the switching element or switching devices operation okay we already uh, we already done that here we only mm, used uh, the different different switching devices like bjd mosfet igbd uh, depends on its application okay depend uh, depends on in uh, particular system okay the switching uh, frequency required okay based on switching frequency required we use different different types of switching devices so by using switching devices what we control okay we actually control the firing angle or the on time of main system okay if we uh, provided delay okay if we provided uh, some uh, delay in this circuit okay we can provide it okay so in that what happened here we apply some voltage and uh, current is flowing through this direction first of all is go through some switching devices okay in that this is in our diagram control circuit is given okay after then there is an inductor in given inductor we can use this inductor for what we can use this inductor for smoothing the current waveform as well as by using this capacitor okay we can provide the constant voltage to the load okay so this is for uh, smoothing the current waveform this is smoothing the voltage waveform okay and this is our load now in that what happened by using this control circuit we can control the duty cycle by controlling the duty cycle we can controlling the input to output voltage every converter having uh, some different types of duty ratio uh, equation based on duty ratio equation the voltage output voltage is different in every converter okay if we provide the duty ratio as a point five. okay actually uh, first of all we discuss about the duty ratio limit the duty ratio can be varied from 1 to 10 oh, sorry 0 0.1 to 1 okay if you provide a 0.5 there is a different voltage if we provide a 0.6 there's a different voltage different voltage okay now uh, here we have advantages and disadvantages of switching water regulator okay or we we only discuss about this because we don't uh, want this linear water regulator this is normal linear water regulator okay our main focus uh, on this chapter is switching water regulator so this is advantages and disadvantages of dc to dc switching water regulator okay comparatively uh, linear water regulator it is highly efficient okay it is uh, its efficiency is very high uh, disadvantages is uh, that the more external parts required why we require some external parts as an example if we used SCR so we have to uh, provide a commutation circuit for turn off 
uh, the main SCR switch. So there's a very uh, some external parts are required in some uh, switching mechanism. After the low heat generation, okay, comparatively uh, linear water regulator, okay, switching water regulator heat generation is low. Its circuit is very complicated because uh, there is a controlling mechanism for switching on and off. And in our switching voltage regulator, we have buck converter, boost converter. Okay, negative voltage operation is possible in buck boost converter. Okay, we have versatile. Uh, we have versatile converter for this main uh, operations. Increase the noise. Why some noise are increased in our converters? Okay, in the uh, in this types of converter, because uh, we have different different converters like buck converter, boost converter, buck boost converter. Okay, in that what happened? The constant voltage is Converge, uh, convert into variable voltage. Okay, if we want to uh, convert, uh, sorry, if we want to increase or decrease voltage, okay, that is possible. But from uh, for this uh, reason, okay, the mean uh, voltage is given to mean actual machine. Okay, practical machine. Okay, in that what happen? If we increase or decrease the mean voltage, okay, is uh, directly effect on the main rotor okay dates and that's why the uh, noise are increasing so today we study about mean introduction of the uh, dc to dc switching voltage regulator okay circuit diagram of linear voltage regulator and switching voltage regulator advantages of switching voltage regulator okay i hope you all get all information regarding switching water regulator and linear water regulator. Thank you so much.